I visualized this workflow while trying to fall asleep and now that I've tested it, it's perfect for creating epic 3D printed products. Start by turning the first sketch line in your model into a construction line, 140 mm high as a reference for the lampshade's height. Then offset two construction lines. 125 mm for the top width and another for the bottom width of the lampshade. Remember to turn off construction line settings and sketch a new horizontal line. Set the distance from the top of your vertical line to 15 mm. Next, draw a horizontal sketch line in the middle of your vertical line. Use the mirror tool to duplicate it, ensuring equal spacing at the bottom of your lampshade. Pay attention, one mirror option will appear hollow. This is the correct choice in the sketch environment. Use the fit point spline and limit the dots to 4 when connecting the top and bottom widths. Adjust the control points and handles to refine the curve. If a control point is locked by automatic constraints, remove those constraints to make adjustments freely. The next line is for creating the pattern around the lampshade. Set its angle to 70 degrees. A closed profile will appear automatically, but we're not using it. Extend the line slightly at the bottom to make sketching easier. Use the orange surface modeling revolve option and select your fit point spline as the profile. For the axis, choose the central axis just above the origin. This highlights why keeping the origin at the center of your design makes everything simpler. Set the thickness to 3 mm to convert your surface model into a solid model. Turn on the visibility of the two horizontal sketch lines at the top and bottom. Use the Surface Modeling Extrude option to extend them. Set the direction to symmetric to save time. Over sketch and design with a decent margin around your lampshade. The purpose of these surfaces is to use them for splitting your body into three parts. This approach lets you make heavy modifications to the middle body while ensuring smooth connections to the top and bottom bodies. Hide the top surface to make it easier to work with the angled line. Extrude the 70 degree line long enough to increase its thickness without interfering with any geometry. Set the thickness to 3 mm to match the rest of the model. Turn off the visibility of the top and bottom lampshade bodies. Then over extrude the body through the lampshade and set the operation type to intersect instead of join. A quick check confirms that the top and bottom remain intact after the extrude intersect operation. You can leave the top and bottom visible, but I turn them off to focus on the next step. The design is nearly complete, even if it doesn't look like it. Mirror the body from the extrude intersect operation using the blue vertical axis above the origin. 
One part may appear too long, but that's just an optical illusion caused by the extrude intersect body. From this point on, you can turn the top and bottom visibility back on and leave them visible for the rest of the tutorial. Apply appearances before creating the pattern to minimize contact points. Choose a material, then adjust the color using RGB or hex codes if you want a specific look. Duplicate the color and apply it to other bodies if you're designing a multicolor product. I'll fast forward here, but I recommend exploring multicolor 3D prints. They're fun to create and can add extra value for potential customers. We don't need to show this part of the underlying surface models, so let's turn off their visibility. The circular pattern is the perfect way to complete this design. Repeat the workflow using the vertical axis above the origin as your axis. This lampshade shines with its intense patterns and the multiple parts highlight why it was so helpful to add appearances earlier. Our design looks great from every angle, a far cry from the simple sketch we started with. The original inspiration for this design comes from another video. Check it out if you're interested in a similar design with a different workflow. If you enjoyed this free Fusion tutorial, consider subscribing to the Maker Letters. I'm passionate about Fusion and love sharing my journey with you here on YouTube. Don't forget to explore the video description for bonus learning resources, discounts and deals. Happy 3D modeling and I'll see you in the next tutorial.